So a lot of entrepreneurs you'll see making videos like this talking about their success or where they are on the beach somewhere or like you see the Ty Lopez videos here in my garage, Lamborghinis, right? But what I want to highlight is that that's not really what entrepreneurship, is when you're, especially when you're starting out, is all about. You've got to bootstrap. So let's, give, let's get a quick tour of the house that I'm living in. It's not even my house, actually. It's my parents' house. And then we'll kind of find out. So come on and follow me. So this is the garage. No Lamborghinis here. <laughs> And um, so pretty much my story is uh, fairly, fairly uh, atypical in many ways. I was born and raised in Bangladesh. I came here when I was 11 years old. And uh, my parents have been in Bartlett most of my life. I have been as well. Uh, I've been doing online marketing consulting. Moved out to LA. Was enjoying working with some of the lar largest companies uh, out there. But wanted to start a business. So I found my business partner just by reaching out to lots of successful people. Found him and we decided to launch our business on Amazon. So what does that mean? Well, I invested a quite a bit of money into that business and I knew what I needed to do was bootstrap, cut all my costs. So came back to Bartlett and you're gonna see what my house looks like here. Fairly small house, um, was pretty cheap. I think we bought this house for 120K uh, and that was five years ago. So it's a little bit more expensive now. Got a guest bedroom here and kitchen area. Uh, I don't cook anything anymore. I hate cooking because I think it's a waste of time. So mostly my parents are doing a lot of the cooking these days. Um, over here we have a very fancy dining room <laughs> that can seat a family of four. Um, if you'd follow me this way towards the living room, uh, we have kind of a cool atmosphere. I used to play a whole lot of chess, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that at all. I played chess, competitive chess, from, from way back in high school, uh, early middle school, all the way up to the uh, end of my college career. That's what I made my career out of, playing, coaching, tournament directing. So I had that hustle of the startup mentality from early on. You can see some of, the, some of my trophies here. Uh, this is all mostly from high school. That one is, uh, was a state tournament I did okay in. Uh, there's my plaque for one, one year. I was the Shelby County co-champion. You can see that. Uh, if you'll follow me. And uh, a lot of the things, you know, we talk about entrepreneurship a lot and starting your businesses. When you're starting out, you really have to bootstrap. I keep stressing that because bootstrapping and trying to cut costs whenever possible is huge. So you can even take examples like, uh, let's just take my friend Ashley who's actually recording this video. We decided that we, uh, we could have each gotten these services. I, uh, she needs help with PR. I need help with making this video. So we could have went out there, hired a large agency, paid hundreds of dollars to get these services. But instead we realized, hey, we each have a need. So we can help each other out. Instead of just paying for services, we can exchange services. So try to see if you can find people that will help you out uh, in a win-win situation that you can help them out with something as well. And believe it or not, if you reach out to enough people, I promise you, you will find people who are gonna be interested in your services and will offer us there for free. Uh, this is a couple of bedrooms here. Uh, my sister, when she's in town, she stays here, but she's not in town anymore right now. Uh, she's got married recently. Uh, my parents stay in this bedroom here. As you can see, pretty basic stuff. And if you look at this picture, actually, that's me and my sister when we were younger. Something you'll never find on the internet, ever. Uh, so now we're gonna head towards the main area. My office, my home office slash uh, bathroom over there. My bedroom, kind of doubles out as an office. I mostly work here. Everything that I do stays on this side and then the sleep part stays here. Some people might say that it may make, make, make more sense to put like a divider or something here because you don't want to you know, get your office and your bedroom in the same thing because it messes with sleep and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it hasn't affected me ever. I think I get plenty of sleep. Uh, but for a lot of people, it might uh, make a lot of sense. So the reason I talk about this is because you really do not need to be spending a lot of time and a lot of money uh, on getting like fancy offices and things like that when you're starting a business. See, for me, I put in $20,000 of my pocket money into my company right away. That's $20,000 I don't have anymore to be spending on an apartment, fancy cars, uh, not even a fancy car, even a basic car, right? I want, to, I want to be able to stay with whatever I have, cut costs, focus as much time as I can on my company. Now, 
I want to talk about something else while we're in this room as well. Is um, come come check out this wall over here. This wall has not just really cute pictures and things like that, right? This wall has is filled with business cards. Why do I have all these business cards taped here? Because this is where I can reach out to people. I'm constantly reaching out to people. Everyone that I ever meet, I first get their business card. I have an app on my phone that I use to basically take a picture. I'm not gonna actually go into the app, but uh, basically it takes a picture of the card and it just automatically transcribes that into text based and it saves that information in, into my contact. So I have a picture here and then I also just tape their card here. So if I ever quickly need something, I've got people here that are in almost any kind of a field. So start getting business cards, giving out your business cards wherever you go because you want to network with as many people as you can. I wanted to actually show you guys. Recently uh, an, uh, an article is coming out pretty soon I hope uh, on uh, Influensive about how I am actually donating all of these. These are shirts and clothes and things like that. I do not wear. I wear a black tee, a white tee, sometimes a gray t-shirt and if it's cold I'll wear a couple of jackets. I have a couple of button downs and a couple of pairs of jeans. Why am I doing this? Because we don't need things. Things cause problems, right? When you're moving, think about all the time you're spending just dragging these things that are being used year after year. If you haven't used something in about a year, you probably don't need it. Just get rid of those things, sell it, buy, give it away, do whatever you can. Most of the stuff that you see here actually isn't mine. Honestly, these are my parents' things. That's my friend's suitcase. He just moved to San Jose, so I'm holding on to that for him. I don't have much. I have this aquarium. That's about it for the most part. So, the, the, the reason, again, like I the wanted to show this, this sort of like natural, natural, oh, this is a, uh, this is kind of a cool picture actually. Let's zoom in on this for a second. This is my uh, whole, whole mom's side of the family. Um, my uncles, my aunts, their wives. Unfortunately, my grandfather, he passed away. My grandmother just moved in with us. So, that's another reason. Why did I move back to Memphis? Well, you gotta be close to friends and family because at the end of the day, you're, you're, you don't wanna have these regrets that, oh, I didn't get to see my cousins growing up or I didn't spend the last few years with my grandmother while she was still with us or I didn't get to see my parents in their happiest uh, time of their life. So these are things that you wanna make sure that you calculate into your whole entrepreneurial sort of like adventure or your mission. You, want, you don't want to just give away your entire life working hard and hustling like a lot of entrepreneurship videos will tell you. The best and the, the most smartest entrepreneurs, the ones that are most successful, always try to balance things out because you need those things to support you in your ventures and what, whatever it is that you're working on. Whether it's a wife or your kids or your parents or friends or family, you need that support group. So try to spend time with them. Even if it means you don't, can't work on your business during those hours, that's okay. That time is well uh, worth well spent. So balance in life is, as you can understand, it's very important for whatever it is that you're working on. It doesn't necessarily have to be entrepreneurship, even if you have a job. Um, you need to balance your life out because ultimately you want to have a fulfilling life. You don't just want to have this crazy achievements and things like that, but you just work like a dog all your life. Yeah, you might enjoy it, but you didn't get to build lifelong relationships. That's one of the things that I really like to stress on a lot is that you have to, sp life is really all about relationships at the end of the day. Even in business, you're building tons of uh, long-term relationships. So try to focus on doing a lot of those kind of things while you're out there hustling and grinding and trying all these entrepreneurships and businesses and things like that. And so uh, we, can, we can head back out now. And I wanna wrap up with just a couple of more thoughts, you know? Flowers, right? There's a really good quote from Dale Carnegie that I absolutely love. And Dale Carnegie, one of my favorite authors of all time, wrote uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Probably my favorite, actually it is my favorite book of all time. Uh, what he says is that one of the saddest things uh, that he knows about human beings is that we're all dreaming of some magical rose garden over, over the horizon while ignoring the flowers that are blooming right, right outside our windows. Um, and that's a very powerful quote. That's because that we just, we're just always trying, 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 thinking that, okay, if I can just achieve this one thing, I would be happy. If I can just get that, if I can just get married, I would be happy. If I can just have that Lamborghini, I'd be happy. If I can just take that one vacation uh, to Hawaii, I would be happy. Uh, but in reality, 
happiness, as we understand it in psychology, isn't just about achieving certain things and you get it and you're happy. It's the process, the trying, right? The achieving, and, and, and a lot of studies show that human beings absolutely cannot stand just going after something, achieving it, and just sitting on it. We need to be achieving small goals throughout our career. Uh, that's what's really it's all about. So try to spread out your happiness and the way you perceive happiness. Uh, try to try to look at small things, uh, small gains as you go down 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 your path of happiness, and try to focus on just having as many of those small gains or small wins as you possibly can because the accumulation of all of that ultimately over time is what's really going to give you a fulfilling life. Again, this is Rafi Chowdhury. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got to learn something kind of cool about it. If you want to learn more about me, shoot me a message, rafichowdhury.com. We'll definitely talk. Thanks, guys.